This video will cover the topic evaluating functions absolute value, rational, and radical. What do absolute value signs do? Absolute values make negative numbers positive. Correct. Absolute values make negative numbers positive. Let's take a look at an example of how this property affects evaluating functions. Consider the following example. h of x equals the absolute value of 1 third x minus 14 and find h of 12. When solving this problem, we substitute in 12 for x in the equation. And this results in 1 third times 12 minus 14. Now we can simplify the expression inside the absolute value sign. 1 third times 12 is 4, so 4 minus 14 results in negative 10. Since the number inside the absolute value is negative, it becomes positive. So the answer for the equation h of 12 equals 1 third x minus 14 is 10. What if the equation has a square root? Do you still follow the same steps? Let's take a look at an example with a square root. Consider this following example. f of x equals square root of negative 6 minus 5x and solve for f of negative 3. What do you think is the first step? Well, since it's asking to solve for f of negative 3, first you substitute in negative 3 in the place of x in the equation. Yes, that is correct. When we substitute negative 3 for x, we get square root of negative 6 minus 5 times negative 3. Then we simplify this expression like a normal square root problem. Following the order of operations, negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. And negative 6 plus 15 results in 9. Since 9 is the perfect square, it can be simplified to 3, so the answer for square root of negative 6 minus 5 times negative 3 is 3. Okay, that makes sense. What if the equation had a rational function that has an x in the numerator and the denominator? Do you substitute in the same number for both the numerator and the denominator? That's a good question. Consider the following example g of x equals 8 plus x cubed over x cubed solve for g of 4. What do you think is the first step in solving this example? The first step is to substitute in 4 for x in the denominator and the numerator. Yes, that is correct. This expression can be written as 8 plus 64 all over 64 because 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. Then we add the numerators together, which results in 72 over 64, and this expression can be simplified to 9 over 8. So the answer for the expression 8 plus 4 cubed all over 4 cubed is 9 over 8. Okay, I think I understand how to do these type of problems, but let me summarize this. In order to evaluate the equations at specific values, you first substitute the given value for the x's in the equation. Then, you solve the equation using the properties of radical, rational functions, and absolute value signs. Yes, that is correct. It looks like you understand the topic evaluating functions absolute value, rational, and radical.